Well, now I know what you're thinking. Holy crap, it's daylight. Why is it not 3 a.m. when I usually make my videos? Uh, that is because it's sunny. It's sunny. I have a day off and I'm able to do this video. This video has uh, been on the horizon for a uh, couple of weeks now. Uh, this is my, what the fuck have I bought? What have I bought? It's my Blu-ray and DVD or my Blu-ray 4K update. The last one was about a month ago, I think it was. And I don't know if you can see, I've had a bit of a tidy. Yeah. So all the action figures have now been removed and are currently on the top, top shelf. But uh, it is a lot more organised and tidier. I did it at like three o'clock last night when I probably should have been making this video. But I decided to do it, get rid of the big ass pile that was on the floor. There is, however, still a lot of stuff that I need to try and find a way to fit onto the shelves. But I've added more onto the uh, Premier Collection, or uh, Premium Collection, um, which is the ones I have shown in previous videos. But I've decided to... Uh, put them in the yeah, into the shelving which means i've had to and this is really bad i have had to remove a big old slot of arrow videos which will go back in at some point but like i said this is my uh what the fuck have i bought so i made the video last time which was how to collect or how to start a physical media collection without breaking the bank. One slight problem I said is to make sure you have a budget. Now, in all fairness, it is Easter and well, it was Easter and a lot of places had sales and I didn't have to worry about finances for the, this month. So uh, I went a little bit crazy. It was sales. I have bought quite a bit. Um, I'm going to pause this in a sec so I can get everything ready and set up. Uh, so you will see that there is going to be some gaps on the shelving because I've, I had to filter it all in last night um, just to make it look a little bit tidier. But you will see what I bought and uh, I think I've got a pretty good amount of shit. So uh, give me two seconds. I will pause and we will return. I think I managed to find everything. Um... There's a, a a fair pile. It's not huge. Ah, I forgot. There is one more that I forgot. Where did I put the bastard? Where is he? Uh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck. I sorted this all out last night, and now I can't find the one that I'm looking for. I thought I put it on there. Or did I? Where did I put it? Hmm. This is a, a very awkward situation. Down out there it is. I got it. Right. I knew I'd put it on one of the shelves somewhere. Right, so first off, Transformers the movie in 4K. Yay! Uh, I talked about this in the last uh, video about the uh, how to start collecting physical media. So I'm not going to do a huge thing on Transformers the movie, but the uh, this is the 4K. It was uh, about 14 quid from Rare Waves, which was uh, like a deal. I was like, yes, I'll get that because I love Transformers the movie. Haven't seen it on uh, in high definition, let alone on 4K. But it is the 40th anniversary of Transformers this year, and in the UK, I don't know if it's in America as well. But cinemas will be showing the first four episodes of the first series of the original uh, G1 uh, Transformers. And uh, being a huge fan of 80s animated science fiction, Transformers the movie has to go in the collection. It's a very cool, nice slipcase. It has the same artwork on there and it has... Two discs, it has the Blu-ray and a uh, regular... Well, it has the Blu-ray and a 4K, but it also has alternative artwork, as you can see. So I don't really know which one to use. I quite like the old style, the old like VHS type art. But the other art is pretty good. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like inside the case. Transformers! 
Yeah, I think I quite like that. I quite like that artwork better. Maybe they should have put that on there, but let's be honest. That's a pretty eye-catching cover. So there we are, Transformers the movie. That's going back up on the top. Then another one I showed in uh, the last video is uh, Tripod Series 1 and 2. Um, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not going to talk a huge amount about this. But uh, Tripods, I've owned Series 1 for many, many years. Never Series 2 because it was never released separately. So I thought, you know what? I'll buy Series 1 and 2 finally and I'll get to watch Series 2. And I really enjoyed it. So, Tripods. Now this is a really great 80s movie. Uh, this has had multiple releases from different companies in the States. But it's never had a UK release. Uh, this is the, ger the German release uh, from... Uh, Wicked Vision uh, video, I guess. Um, it is uh, The Monster Squad, directed by uh, Fred Decker and written by Shane Black and Fred Decker. This is a really cool 80s teen monster comedy, sort of like The Goonies, but with Universal Monsters. Really cool. I own the DVD, but uh, I don't own the Blu-ray. And again, it has reversible artwork, again, which is pretty cool. I quite like these uh, these Wicked Vision releases. They're actually pretty good. This was actually quite good. It was about 9.99 or nine euros, I think it was, uh, from Amazon Germany. And uh, I'm now glad that I finally have the Monster Squad on Blu-ray in the collection because the DVD I've had for many, many years from the States and it's... It's decent quality, but I think High Def Monster Squad is pucker. So that's the Monster Squad. Next up is three from the awesome current Easter sale from uh, Indicator. First one we have. This is a 3 for 15 deal on Indicator. Uh, they normally have a 3 for 20, but 3 for 15, you can't pass that up. But the good thing is they've included the limited editions, not just the standard edition. So you can get the limited editions for £5, which is insane. So three movies for 15 quid, £5 each. So I have picked up 20 Million Miles to Earth. Great 50s science fiction film. Um, 1957, a special effects by Ray Harryhausen, directed by uh, Nathan Duran. And it stars William Hopper, Joan Taylor. And it was written by uh, Bob Williams and Christopher Noof. Cool movie. I have this on DVD as well, but this is a really cool upgrade. And I always want to upgrade uh, the classic 50s sci-fi to a higher definition because uh, I find that black and white um, movies or movies that were made uh, earlier in the period that were shot on maybe 35mm film always clean up a hell of a lot better than 4K movies because they're already shot in 4K. So for a fiver, that's added to the sci-fi collection of the old powerhouse indicator uh, collection. Then we have a film, another science fiction film. I, I've heard of this movie. I've never seen it. This is more of a, I say, a blind buy because uh, I've always wanted to watch it. And for Fiverr, you can't go wrong. It's um, Day of the Dolphin. Uh, a Mike Nichols film starring uh, George C. Scott. This is about a... Um, uh, a dolphin trainer who's training to who's training the dolphins to attach mines to submarines and ships and stuff. Um, pretty cool, really nice release as well. Big chunky book. Well, I say big chunky book, thick ish book. Uh, reversible artwork, and obviously you've got the uh, the disc as well. But really looking forward to checking this one out because it is one that I've wanted to watch for years and years. <coughs> So yeah, so I'm really glad that I've now got that in the collection. And the final one from the Powerhouse uh, sale is uh, Grey Lady Down, a World War II... I think it's World War II? I don't know if it is World War II. I think it's like just a general warfare movie. It's, uh, it says, A nuclear submarine sinks. One terse communication sets in motion an awe-inspiring rescue mission. Grey Lady Down, directed by uh, David Green and starring Charlton Heston. Uh, David Carradine, Stacey Keach, Stephen McHattie, 
Rosemary Forsyth, Ned Beatty, Ronnie Cox. Screenplay by James Whitaker. Music by Jerry Fielding. This is made in 1978. And uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. I I know a lot of people don't like Charlton Heston because of his, his right wing tendencies and stuff. Or didn't like him because of that. And the fact that he was president of the NRA. And, and all that poli political bullshit. But let's face it, Charlton Heston was a fucking badass in everything. From Ben-Hur to, uh, what was that film he was in? Oh, God. It was the one that basically Indiana Jones ripped the costume off. Secret of the Incas, there we go, that's the one. It's called Secret of the Incas, starring Charlton Heston. And uh, obviously his 70s stuff, like Soylent Green and... Uh, the Omega Man, Planet of the Apes, uh, just like, he was he was a badass, let's face it. But yeah, Grey Lady Down, obviously Stacey Keach is in this as well. Stacey Keach is always great in everything that he does. Right, let's pop that on there. Then we have, from the 101 Easter Sale, we have two horror movies. Uh, one of the, both of these I've seen before. But both of them have always been really, really piss poor transfers on budget DVDs. The first one is the collector's edition of Spookies from uh, 101. This was uh, produced by, what was his name, Michael Lee? He's the guy who uh, basically set up uh, Vipco. Uh, I think this was... Uh, like, kind of their foray into producing a horror movie. Um, there's a full-length documentary called Vipco, The Untold Story on this. I only ever saw this on a Vipco DVD, and the picture quality was absolutely shocking and virtually unwatchable. The audio was bad, but I checked this out, uh, just skimmed through it just to see what the picture quality was like the other day, and it looks amazing. 1986. Um, it's a It's a low budget ish horror movie it was a 15 well it is a 15 it was an 18 when i watched it on uh on the old vipco dvd and uh yeah so glad that that i know i have spookies in the collection and the other one from the um 101 uh sale is uh hell knight love hell knight hell knight is great it's one of the better spooky horror movies like is it a slasher movie? Is it a spooky, 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 dooky ghost movie? Uh, it does have Linda Blair in it from The Exorcist. And for some reason, I thought, I don't know why I thought it, but I thought that David Hasselhoff was in this. But I might be wrong. It's been a long time since I watched it. But um, it's directed by Tom DeSimon. Um, produced by... Produced by Chuck Russell, which is interesting because he directed The Blob and uh, is quite well known in horror circles for them because he worked, did a lot of work with um, Frank Darabont prior to Darabont becoming a filmmaker and one of the best writers in Hollywood. Um, good movie. It's Vincent Van Patten, Kevin Brophy, Jenny Newman, Suki Goodwin, Jimmy Sturvident. Sturvident? That's a weird name. And Peter Barton and Linda Blair in uh, Irwin Yablan's uh, production. Hell Knight. Cool movie. I did have a special edition Blu-ray, uh, DVD of this. Um, which was in widescreen, but it still wasn't the best picture quality that you could find. Uh, right, so, next up. Another one from Amazon Germany. Is another cool 80s movie that I do have on DVD, but... For six ninety nine, I'm going to upgrade to the uh, Young Sherlock Holmes, directed by Barry Levinson, and I think this was written by Chris. Yeah, it was written by Chris Columbus. Um, produced by Steven Spielberg, Catherine Kennedy, oh, Catherine, Kathleen Kennedy, <clears throat> and uh, Frank Marshall, and a uh, good movie. One of the first films to use photorealistic CGI, considering this was 1985. 1985 to use uh, sort of photorealistic CGI. I guess you could say it was photorealistic. A year after uh, The Last Starfighter um, tried to use CGI to show the uh, the space, uh, what they call them, the gun starships and stuff like that. But a uh, very cool film, very fun film. Again, 
80s movies are just the best. So that's the young Sherlock Holmes. I know I'm rushing through this video today. It's because the last few videos have been really, really uh, long. They've been like 40 minute ones. And uh, I thought I'd just run through this lot really, really quickly. Um, Mad Max, the Road Warrior. Showed this quickly in the last video uh, when I talked about um, how I was buying them uh, at once a month. So there's only one left to get now, which I'll be getting next month or this month coming. This is the 4K release of um, the Road Warrior. As you can see, comes in this really nice spooky not spooky what am i talking about very nice hard box and comes with like these art cards and stuff uh again i'm not going to go over too much about this release but uh as a huge mad max fan having the uh, mad max select collection in this uh like really nice nicely presented boxes uh is is it's just great right so i kind of cropped up in the last video where i said i'd ordered graveyard of honor from uh radiance i didn't i ordered yakuza graveyard i had ordered graveyard of honor from the arrow sale which comes with the original kinji fukusaku movie and the sort of reboot reimagining by takashi Miike. and uh yeah i used to own a box set i think it was released I think it was released by Second Sight, or it might have been Arts Magic, um, that had like four uh, Kinji Fukusaku um, gangster movies in it, like the 70s Yakuza movies. One of them was uh, Grave of Hon Graveyard of Honor. It had Street Boss. Uh, shit, I can't even remember what the other ones were. But there was there was, uh, there was was four movies. I've got really, really chubby fingers. I don't know why. But there was four movies in that box set. And um, they weren't ever great quality. It was, an, uh, like I said, I think it was an Arts Magic release. And Arts, Ma Arts Magic never really put much care into their releases, even when they were releasing more newer, like, Asian cinema, like Japanese cinema or Korean cinema and stuff like that. It was, it was always questionable quality. But um, Arrow have done a really great job on uh, on these. This is a again a two a two pack hard case uh, collection. This is Graveyards of Honor. Very cool artwork on the front, almost uh, like manga ish. I don't know. Like I did this during the day so I could get a better light in, but it's still not working. Maybe I should have just stuck to doing it at like three o'clock in the morning. So there's a bit of light because this is my little light box. This was one pound fifty from Timu. So Graveyards of Honor. Really cool. That was um, nine ninety nine, I think that was, which is a really good, really good uh, steal. Uh, I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn this off because it ain't doing anything. We're coming up towards the last few now. Next is uh, this one. This is a film that I have been after for years and years and years and years and years. I absolutely adore this film. The first time I saw it was on. Channel 4 in the UK at about 2 o'clock in the morning, back when they used to show films really, really late, and uh, or really, really early, depending on how you look at it. Uh, this is this is like one of those post-Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino-esque type of crime films. You know, the Blackley comic, crime drama, comedy things. Uh, this is uh, directed by uh, Wallace Wolodarski, who um, worked, who works a lot with uh, Wes Anderson, who I am not a fan of. I do not own a single Wes Anderson movie because I do not like his style. Um, this is a very fun movie. It's called Cold Blooded. Um, I previously owned this on a German DVD. Uh, when the DVD arrived, the uh, the film didn't have any English audio or any English subtitles. It was only in German with German subtitles and Spanish subtitles, believe it or not. So that went straight in the bin. That was, I thought, jackpot, I found it. So when I heard that last year, uh, Koch Films, in uh, conjunction with Universal, had released Cold Blooded on this really nice little media book at a price of 19.99 i was just like you know what that's gonna go out of print pretty quickly uh if it's a media book media books tend to go through the roof in prices so i was like i'm gonna get it i have to get it it's the only chance i'm gonna be able to see this film again now and uh i picked it up 
and it has uh, one DVD or one Blu-ray, should I say? And it also has the uh, DVD at the back with this really nice, like I don't know if you can see it, really nice little uh, booklet in the middle. Uh, I can't read it because it's in German, but the film is in English with English subtitles. And it also has German audio and German subtitles as well. But uh, it stars Jason Priestley, uh, Peter Rygart, and uh, like Janine Garofalo. And is it Kimberly Williams? Yeah, Kimberly Williams and uh, Robert Lozier as well. There's a uh, there's a cameo by Michael J. Fox in this as well, um, who also produced the movie, which is interesting. But very cool movie. So glad I finally have uh, Cold Blooded. Uh, I watched this a couple of weeks ago when it came because the this came about two weeks ago, and uh, I still I I still love it. I still love it. It's it's very blackly comic. But uh, Jason Priestley is very, very cool in this. So that is that. And where are we at? 21 minutes. Oh, speeding through this today. Only two left. And these are the two that came today. And these are the two that I said uh, in the last video that I was waiting for to arrive. They are the two films from Radiance, which I bought from uh, Rare Waves um, for £20 for the two. The first one is uh, Miami Blues, starring Alec Baldwin, and Jennifer Jason Lee and Fred Ward. Uh, it's directed by George Armitage, who made the wonderfully awesome and brilliant Gross Point Blank, which for some reason I still don't own on Blu-ray. Maybe uh, maybe I can get a 4K of that. Never seen this film. Always wanted to watch it. Watched the trailer multiple times. This was uh, for sale. This is still around uh, in CEX for 15 quid, or it might be 12 quid now. I got this for like £10.20 through Railway, Rare Waves 20% uh, off deal. Um, really, really, really looking forward to checking this out finally. And uh, no matter what you might think of Alec Baldwin and what happened with uh, with Rust and everything, there's no denying that his previous like career before that, he, he put out some bangers. So stuff like this, stuff like... Um, what else was that movie he made? Uh, the, the remake of The Getaway, George... Uh, not George... I've got I've gone completely blank. Walter Hill's remake of uh, The Getaway, which was originally a Sam Peckinpah film starring Steve McQueen, and uh, what else was there? <laughs> if you enjoy it, The Shadow's quite a fun movie. But yeah, Alec Baldwin has had like a pretty decent career. Uh, it sucks about what happened on the Rust set, but I'm not gonna like hate on something on someone for an incident that happened on one film of like a hundred movies or so say and then the final one is uh yakuza graveyard yakuza graveyard this is the one that i cocked up with last time and said it was graveyards of honor it's not it's yakuza graveyard another kinji fukusaku movie starring tatsuya watari who is also the uh the main protagonist in uh graveyard of honor the original 1970s version um, there's also got Mako Kaji from, uh, Lady Snowblood, and, uh, yeah, again, this is one that I've never seen because the picture quality that I had on DVD was virtually unwatchable, um, and I, I tried to watch it and I just could not get into it because I couldn't watch the actual picture quality. It was, it was so bad. Uh, but yeah, again, looking forward to checking this out. This again with Miami Blues. Uh, added two Radiance films to my collection. There are uh, there's a couple of Radiance movies that I want. I'm not a huge like I'm not hugely into the type of movies that they tend to put out. Uh, I think some of them are a bit too arty and stuff. I much prefer the the like the more culty stuff that Arrow are putting out and uh, like the 1950s stuff that Powerhouse is putting out. And all like the really fun 80s sci-fi and horror that one of one is putting out. I haven't bought any Eureka releases for a long time because there's nothing out that I could that I really, really want. But adding these two new uh films to the collection, yeah, I have started I have a collection. you could say I have a collection of Radiance movies. I have two. But really looking forward to checking both of them out. Now, I've, I've sorted all this out. I've got nowhere to put these movies. 
So they're going to stay by there for the time being. So that is my what the fuck did I watch? Uh, or what the fuck did I buy? I can't remember if there's anything else. I think I've managed to nail everything. It was a bit of a expensive month this month. But next month will be a lot, uh, a lot less. So don't expect like me to do... Because like, the pile I had was about this big. Let me step back. It was about this big in total. So, uh, yeah, I won't be doing that next month. I'll probably quite keep it down to a um, a min minimal like size. Obviously, I want to pick up Beyond Thunderdome, but we'll have to see what else comes out. Well, there's no, I don't think there's any more sales on, so I won't be buying any more stuff in sales. So there we go. That's it. That's the what the fuck did I buy this month? Number four. Thank you everyone for watching and subscribing and commenting on the videos and stuff. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Right. I completely forgot about this. This was what I planned to do last night. So. This movie is Dolls. I already have this movie. In this collection. So I don't need this. So, I'm going to give this away. If anyone wants it. i got to try and think of how to get rid of this now. I was like, oh, I'll do a giveaway. But how do I get rid of it? Like, because the last time when I did the giveaway for Eye of the Tiger, I said about giving me, a, answering a question. And I said the first person to answer the question would win. Which is unfair on everyone else because the first person, obviously, who answered the question got the question right and got the DVD or got the Blu-ray. So, maybe I should just put, if you want this copy of Dolls, put your, say, I want Dolls down below. And what I'll do... After next next Wednesday, I will do a uh, I'll do another video next Wednesday, and I will announce the winner. What I'll do, I'll put all the names in a hat. Which you got till because um, I'm off next week. Yay! I'll put all the names in the hat of people who uh, who have asked for this copy of dolls. Said that they want this copy of dolls, and uh, I will pull it out of a hat. Make it fair on everyone. Just put yes, I want dolls in the comments below. And I'll I'll select from random, and I'll announce the winner in the uh, the next video. So if you want a copy of Dolls on Blu-ray, this is the 101 release, almost exactly the same as the Arrow release, but it's in a box set, and I don't technically need this anymore. If you would like this, write in the comments below. Yes, I want Dolls, and then I will select from whoever from a hat, who wins, and I will announce it in the next video. So, free movies! Whee! Right, I'm going to call it a quit, because we're now at 30 minutes. So thank you everyone for watching, subscribing, commenting, and doing all that jazz. Uh, I've got another few ideas for videos, but um, this was the one that I was waiting to do, because I had to wait for everything to arrive, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. And it's daylight. It's daylight. It's weird me doing it with day, like in, in broad daylight because I don't tend to do this. But thank you, everyone. Uh, as usual, I'm going to give the salute. Peace. I'm out. Cheers.